Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Talks Trading. My name is Sky, and today we're going to be talking about CCIV stock. CCIV shares have been retreating as of late, as some of the hype fizzes out, and that's been happening with many retail meme stocks while the economy reopens. And CCIV is considered by many people as a meme stock. Just a little recap, CCIV is a special purpose acquisition company, SPAC for short, and it is backed by Michael Klein, and it has merged with Lucid Motors to take it public. Michael Klein is a former city rainmaker with MyRide connections in the financial markets. Lucid Motors is an electric vehicle startup that is due to release its first electric vehicle in the second half of 2021. Also something interesting is that the company is headed by a former Tesla chief engineer, Peter Rawlinson. And I think that's why a lot of people are very, very hyped, among other reasons. But one of the reasons is that they are banking on it being the next Tesla, which is very, very enticing for people who missed the Tesla rocket to the moon, if you will. They're hoping to get on this one. CCIV shares definitely fell victim to the retail frenzy in evidence at the start of the year and rallied to extraordinary expensive levels of nearly $65. A lot of people were saying it was completely overhyped, overpriced. Another thing is that retail traders have been getting pretty peeved, pretty frustrated at the lack of access to IPO deals. And so they've turned to the next best thing, which is the special purpose acquisition company deals um, as a means of getting involved in a company early in the same way that you could with an IPO. Another huge reason for why this stock was growing so much is that there were rumors around the rumor mill that Apple was going to be teaming up with them to make Apple electric cars. And this belief stems mostly from two things. The first thing is that the CEO was asked in a recent interview whether or not Apple had approached Lucid Motors and he declined to comment, which if you don't know, in business speak almost usually means yes. Then the second thing this rumor has stemmed from is that Apple's legendary former chief designer, Johnny Ive, is on the board at Lucid. Are the rumors true? I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know. There were rumors back in the day, back in the day, that sounds like 20 years ago, earlier this year, or maybe it was last year, that they were um, working with Kia, that Apple were working with Kia, and Kia was going to be involved in these super cool Apple cars. It, it doesn't really matter, you know, maybe they're not working together, maybe they are, but in a lot of people's opinion, and also in mine, it doesn't really matter. The fact that people are even somewhat believing that these rumors are true, it speaks volumes. You know, it speaks just how much talent is at Lucid Motors. I mean, Apple is the largest tech company in the world. And, you know, they don't work with just anyone. They w they only work with the best. And had the rumor been about some, like, no-name electric vehicle company called Squirrels Electric Vehicles, I don't know why Squirrels was the first thing that came to mind, that Squirrels Electric Vehicle Company and Apple were working together, the market wouldn't have believed it because it's unbelievable. So it is believable that Lucid Motors and Apple would work together because Lucid Motors has the most talented team of managers, engineers, and designers in the EV space outside of maybe Tesla. Long term, Lucid Motors will do something special. Will that something special be building cars for Apple? We don't know. That being said, Lucid Motors still needs to scale manufacturing, secure its supply chain, expand its retail footprint and all of that. And a lot can go wrong between now and the company selling millions of cars a year. There's a long road ahead. But if management executes, this company will be huge and CCIV stock will be a multi-bagger. This The team is seasoned enough, they are smart enough and diverse enough to manage through execution risks over the next few years. Um, so I do think that they will get there. There has been some not so great stuff coming out like CCIV breaking alert. Rosen trusted national trial council encourages Churchill Capital Corp for investors with losses in excess of 100k to secure counsel before important deadline. So basically if you purchased Churchill Capital securities during the class period you may be entitled to compensation without payment of any out-of-pocket fees or costs through a contingency fee arrangement and then 
Of course, we come back to the chip supply shortage, which mercilessly impacts all of the electric vehicle players and the combustion-based players as well. As a pre-revenue company, shareholders took management's word that it can both build production and a consumer base that will purchase those units. Neither task is easy, and when you're coming in relatively late to the game against an established dominant player, an outside disruption like a supply chain crisis can be a major roadblock for CCIV stock. That being said, if you can handle potential volatility, CCIV stock fills a niche in the electric vehicle sector that longer term could be the most viable. Uh, something else to point out is that CCIV has has 240 institutional owners, which is quite a lot. Lucid Motors also announced on Wednesday that it had tapped a new CFO to help take the electric vehicle maker public. You know, they keep continuing to beef up their senior management team, and they also a added a handful of other executives in leadership positions yesterday, so the team just gets stronger and stronger. 